Hi everybody, this is going to be a short video about the consequences of sexual lust and what three things help me overcome it, basically my testimony as well. Um, whenever I was going through the darkest time of my life concerning this issue, I ordered a book and it was called What's on Your Mind by Merlin Carothers. Um, there's a couple stories I wanted to bring to light because so many people's lives have been destroyed because of this. Their own lives, family, churches, their reputations, their futures, um, you know, you God gives us these rules, gives us these things because he cares about us, because he loves us, because he doesn't want to get, he doesn't want us to get like physical diseases, um, STDs, and to have heartbreak. He doesn't want that for us. He loves us so much. He wants us to be holy like him, to have peace, be loving, merciful, kind. So anyway, it's so important because there was um, this one story that I read in that book, and um, there was this pastor who was um, pastoring a really large church. And the one day, um, one of the members of the church, it was this really beautiful young woman, um, she said that she had a really huge problem concerning lust and desiring men, especially married men. And the one day she wanted to speak specifically to this pastor. And she's the type of woman that, I mean, you would just stare at. She's just beautiful. You know, she's just fine from head to toe. And the one day she, the, um, she went to see the pastor. And she went into his office. And um, she, she sat down and she started to confess. She started to confess all her desires um, that were ungodly and she basically as I was reading this story I saw that this was a ploy of the devil this was he used her to strategically to basically destroy this pastor destroy his family and his reputation in the church check this out so she starts explaining to this pastor that she has a desire to um, have sexual relationships with married men <clears throat> and she says and I started to have one especially towards you and she started to describe everything that she wanted to do with him instead of immediately kicking her out rebuking her in the name of Jesus and telling her to leave he um, listened through all of it and uh, you know, tried to explain to her that she's a woman and that she's a woman of God and that she shouldn't be thinking these kinds of things and um, that she can have freedom through Jesus Christ, but she wouldn't let down. She came a second time, you know, and um, maybe a third time. And that, by that time, he told his leaders and stuff that she cannot be alone with him. So, some time passed, and she he wouldn't take her phone calls when she tried to call the church. So, she left in desperation, and the one day when the secretary wasn't watching or something, she just came into his office and closed the door behind him, behind her. And she told him that it's not leaving her, she can't fight it anymore. She can't fight it anymore. It's just, it's controlling her mind, her thoughts, and she started to cry. And so he didn't know what to do, you know? So he just came up to her and wanted to console her, you know, wanted to comfort her. He put his hand on her shoulder, and she immediately, I think she was sitting at, sitting at the time, yeah, she immediately got up and just was all over him. 
started to kiss him and you know what happened. So, so 